Hello and good morning to you. Today we have a special episode of HVTV, but before we jump into it, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. It's Thursday, October 25th, 2018. Six more days until Halloween night. I'm Delaney, and on today's episode of HVTV, we have a feature on traditional Chinese rice noodles, a feature on Miss Kogan's art class, and a hawk squawk switching lives. Ready or not, HVTV starts now. Traditional Chinese cuisine is hard to come by, but Cloudland Rice Noodles is bringing it to America. Here is Jack, Sam, Jackson, and Arian with the story. In the right hands, food could tell its story. Thousands of miles away from Kunming, China, a small restaurant is bringing a slice of provincial Chinese flavor from Yunnan province, bringing together the East and the West. Meet Mr. Jiao Mingjia. Owner and founder of Cloudline Rice Noodles, a visionary who's trying to bring traditional provincial Chinese food into the U.S. With one seemingly simple dish, the crossing the bridge rice noodles of Yunnan, Mr. Jiang is trying to bring something profound into the Bay Area community, a novel yet traditional Chinese food that all could enjoy. Making noodles is not just following directions. It's love that goes into every single noodle together in harmony to create this special dish. This participation truly defines how the dish is made. The uniqueness of this meal, especially its steps in preparation, makes it even more special in this foreign region. In the unlikeliest places in the small town of Newark, California, a Chinese restaurant unlike any other is redefining what people think of Chinese food and reconnecting people's relationships towards food, sharing different culture and traditions. Food is not just something to survive, yet it is a story of traditions and comforts. Reporting for the HVTV, and the Student Television Network, I am Ho Jun Jack Liu with Jackson Bryman, Samuel Callahan, and Arian Patel. Thank you, Jack, Sam, Jackson, and Arian for this awesome feature. Here is a feature on art class by Aeon and Henry. Try to see and Normally, art is always seen in its finished form, but today, we shine light on what happens between the blank paper and the completed work. Students are drawing, um, doing contour line drawings, and then they need to incorporate shading techniques into it to make it look more realistic. Um, you need to know about proportion as well. The projects that the students were working on, the memory projects, and they use um, 
a grid, and that really helps with capturing the proper proportions of the faces. Here is a first period art student with some skills to create art. Even if you're like really good at detail and stuff, you still have to like make things like cool and like be able to come up with creative stuff. You may be surprised at the number of opportunities art provides. I think that everyone could find something that they could uh, that could appeal to them. And art is really fun. It is an opportunity to be creative during the day. It's an opportunity to work with your hands during the day, not necessarily on your computer or your iPad, I should say. Um, it's an opportunity to express yourself in a different way than, let's say, writing or math um, or just speaking. If you feel like all of these attributes is something that you would enjoy, join the Art Elective Reporting for HVTV, I'm Henry Spooner with Elon Gorali. I love art, and thanks to Elon and Henry for making this video. One last treat before we go. Hawk Squawk, what if you could switch lives with someone for a, for a day? Cleo and Sonia asked you, asked you all. Let's see it. It'd be Larry the Lobster, because he's ripped. Definitely not Janaya. LeBron James, though. So, uh, watch out, Curry fans. And Katie Perry. Perry. No, I'm just kidding. I was you. just I you. Was you. Yeah, you. For one day, and then come back right here to awesome Hillview Middle School with you awesome students and teachers and staff and support personnel and parent community. My goodness, I would switch with Walt Disney for one day. Okay, Tom Holland's future wife, because... <gasps> I would be Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger. I would switch lives with Mr. Babington Watch your coffee. because he gets to see all of our enjoyable faces every day, just amazing. I would choose Taylor Swift because she's just a cool singer. Probably be Cody Bellinger just because he's tall and I'm really, really short, so that'd be nice. A plant, so then people would comment on me and they'd be like, wow, this smells so good. And They'd also like feed me. I would want to be a snail for a day so I can eat plants. Eat plants? <laughs> oh, well, that was embarrassing. A pig. Be Logan Paul. Because pow, pow, pow! I would switch lives with my dog because then I'd just be like this. Hey, Ariana Grande, because I want to see what it's like to be a superstar. State of mind. Which lives with a mouse because they're cute and tiny. I would probably be super Superman because then I could save everyone from death and stuff. Oh <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Thank you, Cleo and Sonia, for that hawk squawk. That's all for now. Tune back in for the next episode of HVTV. Teachers and students, please stay tuned for any brief special announcements.